Hi, this is Russ with Advantage Property Management Services. And I want to talk today about some of the issues associated with resident managers in the smaller mid-range multifamily buildings. That would be 16 to 40 or 50 units. Those are the buildings where you're legally required to have a resident manager, but there's not really enough work for a building of that size for a full-time resident manager. What we've seen a lot in the market is with property owners putting a lot of faith into their resident managers, faith in terms of letting them handle everything from leasing to maintenance to rent collection to posting notices, helping with evictions to maintenance. Everything that needs to be done at that property is put into that resident manager's hands. In smaller buildings, what we've seen is that those managers generally are not well suited or well trained. There's a lot of liability with resident managers. Uh, from an owner's perspective, that resident manager has to be an employee, which means you have to be set up as an employer and you have all the risks associated with having employees. California employment law is very strict. If you don't follow the law, the penalties are very severe. It's potentially a ticking time bomb that you haven't considered. So we encourage you to look more into that. More importantly, you have a resident manager who's doing a lot of things for you that may, may not be best suited to them. They may not know all the fair housing laws when it comes to leasing. If they're doing maintenance for you, they may not be qualified maintenance technicians. They may not carry the right insurance or have the right licensing or right experience to do it effectively. If they're dealing with posting legal notices, three-day notices, they may not have the experience to do it correctly, which could lead to problems down the road. There's a solution to this problem. Uh, the solution is to use a professional off-site property management company to take care of all of the property management related tasks. Then the resident manager can just focus on being the eyes and ears on the property and reporting back to the off-site manager to help mitigate that risk. In addition, the off-site property management company will, will be the employer of the resident manager. So the employment risk gets shifted to your off-site property management company so you don't have those risks. If you'd like to learn more about this strategy, this structure, feel free to give me a call at Advantage Property Management Services.